Hey guys, we're doing forms of linear equations, which is one of your assignments on CK12. The problem says identify the correct slope and y-intercept of 4x minus 5y equals 20. So, I thought that I would do it this way. Um, let's see if you can see it. Okay, yes, I stole my daughter's room. Now you all know, commandeered. Um, I wish I could get this all in here. Hold on. Back, back, back. All right, 4x minus 5y equals 20. All right, what you do, you have your equal sign. So you take your 4x. Got to get rid of it because I'm solving for y and the slope. y equals mx plus b. So... I take my 4x from this side of the equation and I bring it over here and flip it. That's right, you flip it when you get over here. So now what is it? Negative 4x. Was positive 4x, now negative 4x. Now I gotta get rid of the negative five. Okay, I do that. How is it connected to the, to the y? By multiplication, what's the inverse of multiplication? Division. <laughs> So I divide by negative 5 on this side. So I'll have 20 divided by negative 5 and negative 4x divided by negative 5. Okay, so now that you've seen the process, I don't know if this helps, but we had a... Four, we had 20 over here, we had a 4x over here, we had a negative 5y over here, so equal to 20. When I brought the 4x over here, I changed it to a negative because it was being added to 5y negative 5y. And then with this, I had to divide it. So I divide negative 4x by negative 5 and 20 by negative 5. All right, let me show you on paper now. Those are gone. All right, so maybe this will be clearer. All right, had to bring the 4x over here, so I subtracted it because the inverse of add is subtract. Negative 5y equals 20 minus 4x. So now I grab my pen. Ah! Take the lid off. And divide everything by negative 5. Negative 5 and negative 5. That goes away because 5 over 5 is 1. So y equals... Um, a negative divided by a positive is a negative 4. And a negative divided by a negative is, mm, tricky, plus 4 over 5x. Now, we want that equation to be in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope or change of y over change of x or rate of change slope and b is the i can hear you all y intercept yay all right so i want this equation to be in some number x plus b so rewrite it y equals positive 4 over 5 x minus 4 then go back to your answers, and it is 4 over 5x minus 4. So I have to move all this stuff. All right, 4 over 5x and minus 4. And then you check it. And it should tell us, yay! All right, next. Oh my gosh, we're four minutes in. All right, to change this into standard form... I would have to bring the y over here 
and the one over there. So, let's see. Y equals negative four third, oh my gosh, this is difficult, four third X plus one. I need to bring the one over here, so I'm gonna make it a minus one, and the Y over here. So, let's see, negative one plus Y equals negative four thirds X, not plus one anymore because we got rid of it, but I need that Y to go over there. So instead of adding Y, I'm gonna subtract Y. So we need it to look like that and none of those do, of course. So now it makes it difficult. Okay, so how do I make this look um, normal? Okay, like what their answers are. I have negative one equals negative four over three X minus Y. All right, to get rid of that three, what could I multiply everything by? Well, three, using the distributive property, three. That would become, yeah, three everywhere. That would become negative three equals, the three would disappear here, so that'd be negative four X minus three Y. All right, so look at that. Look at this. We need one to be a negative three and a negative four X minus Y. Okay, I see a negative three, but I don't see a negative four. So I think they changed the sign of everything. Three equals four X plus three Y. Four X plus three Y equals three. All right, good. Got it? Next. All right. If the standard form of linear equation is ax plus by, so x and y on the same side, is equal to a number, its y-intercept is, well, I'd have to subtract the ax, bring it over here, and then do what with the b? Divide. So ax plus b y equals c. Got to bring the ax over here. Minus ax. Gone. Divided by b. Everything's divided by b, of course. So, everything. y equals c over b minus ax over b. All right, so the y-intercept is not the one with the x, so it's just c over b. C over B. Boom, chicka, boom, boom, check. All right, rewrite the equation in standard form. So I need to minus 2y to bring it over here. So running out of room. 2y equals 6x plus 9. Got to subtract the 2y to bring it over here, so I'll have 0 equals 6x minus 2y plus 9, but I need to bring that 9 over here, so that'll become negative 9 equals 6x minus 2y. Negative 9 equals 6x minus 2y, negative 9. None of those. Okay, so go back to it, change the sign of everything. Nine equals negative six X plus two Y. Cause you just use your distributive property to d multiply everything by negative one. So now I have nine positive equals negative six plus two. Nine positive equals negative six plus two. Check it. That's right. We got you. Right in standard form. Okay, we gotta get that 3x over here. 
minus 3x. So y minus 3x would equal 3. Darn it. Okay. So, I think I'll make it hard, huh? Now I know why you guys are struggling. Y equals 3x plus 3. Y minus 3x equals 3. Because I brought that 3x over here to the side. But that wasn't any of our answers. So let's make this a negative y, a positive 3x equal to a negative 3. Negative 3, positive 3, negative 1x. Negative 3 minus y. Hold on, is that right? Go back. Negative y plus 3x equals negative 3. Negative y plus 3x equals 3. No, that's not any of our answers. They're all negative 3s. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. Negative 3s. Okay, negative 3, 3x minus y. Oh, okay, there it is. 3x minus y. 3x minus y equals negative 3. This one. Oh, thank goodness. Almost done. And my phone's dying, and we're at 11 minutes. So this is a lot. Okay. Um, the slope is this, and it passes through here. Then what's this equation? These are the hard ones. These are the super brainiac... If you can do this, you can do anything. Okay, slope is 5 over 3. Point is 3 comma 5. What's this equation? All right. So the equation is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. I don't know what that is. But I do know that y equals 5 over 3 x plus b. Hmm, how am I going to find stuff? Well, going back here, I know this is x and this is y. So let me plug in what I know. y is 5 equals 5 over 3 times x. x is 3 over 1 plus b. I don't know what b is still. It's the mystery. All right, so 5 equals um, 5 times 3 is 15, divided by 3 is 5. 5 x, I forgot my x, plus b. All right. Nope, that's not an x anymore. The x is a 3. Okay, so now how do I find b? Because x was 3, y is 5. So I should have brought that down too. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't have an x anymore. Okay. So how do I find what b is? I subtract 5 because 5 plus what is 5? 0. 0 equals b. Okay. So that doesn't look like any of those, right? But we got to put it in standard form. So we write our equation with what we know. y equals 5 over 3x plus b, which is 0. So forget that. All right, how do I write this in standard form? Well, I have to bring that y over here by subtracting it. So if I subtract y from both sides, that is 0 equals 5 over 3x minus y. Okay, we don't have any fractions. Back to this. Get rid of the fractions by multiplying everything by 3. 0 times 3 is 0 equals 5 times 3, 15, divided by 3, 5x, minus 3 times y, 3y. Minus 3y plus 5x. Very good. 
wow, this was, why did I give you all this? So hard. I thought we were coming back to school. That's why. All right. So anyway, we're not. So let's do our best. Write the equation in slope intercept form, point slope, and standard form. Line has a slope of two and has these points. Okay. Line has a slope of two and a point of one third comma ten. One third is your x, ten is your y. Y equals mx plus b. M is two. X is a third. Y is ten. Ten equals um, two x. No, x is one third plus b. Okay, 10 equals 2 over 1 times 1 over 3 plus b. 10 equals 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3 plus b. All right, what is our b? Well, we'd have to subtract 2 thirds and subtract 2 thirds from both sides to find out. So, this is where people um, struggle, is just this part, but you don't have to. You can borrow from this 10 and make it 9 and 3 over 3, because mm -hmm. isn't that equal 10? So 3 minus 2 is 1, 9 and 1 third equals B. All right, so 9 and 1 third is B. Uh, well, and the slope is 2. Okay, they have it improper. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28 over 3 equals B. All right, so the slope is 2. That's your y-intercept. All right, slope two, where are you? y equals 2x plus 28 over 3. y equals 2x plus 28 over 3. So it could be this one or this one. So then I have to look at it as a standard equation. So our equation is y equals 2x plus 28 over 3. I have to bring that y over here for it to be standard. So 0 equals 2x minus y. And then that has to go back to this side. So I have plus 28 over 3. So I just brought the y over here. And now I got to bring this over here. So, okay, hold on, hard to write. Okay, I have to come up with a better way to do this. Negative, ah, focus. 28 over three equals two X minus Y. All right, they don't have any fractions, so multiply everything by three. So if I multiply this by 3, this goes away. If I multiply this by 3, that becomes a 6. If I multiply this by 3, that becomes a negative 3y, positive 6x. All right, so it's either A or C. 6x minus 3y. 6x minus 3y, negative 28 is this one. Okay, good. Next. Um, how many do we have to do? All right, write the equation in slope-intercept form. For real, my phone's about to die. All right, let's just um, pick something and say we get it wrong. Check. Oh, no, we got it wrong. What do I do? You can always go back to the one that you missed. Oh, we did way more than we were supposed to anyway. But you can go back to it, and it'll tell you, you know, like, Here's what you missed, and maybe it's something very simple. You know, oh, I did a positive, here it's a negative. But we have completed um, a ton of these. I think that's plenty. And hopefully that'll help you. 
um, forms of linear equations. It's an assignment in CK12 in your eighth grade class, and it's right here. It says it's due on the ninth. Um, let me see if I can edit that. I'll edit that because we're going to make it do. Um, let's do here. Gives you extra time. And we'll work on the other ones at a later time because I know some of you all were struggling with that. They, you guys seem to have got that one. A lot of people got that one correct. And the other one was graphs. A lot of people got that one right. So um, I think systems of equations is still bugging a lot of people. But today we did forms of linear equations on CK12. I miss you guys. Remember the back button gives you the answer. Just do your work. It's easy.